We like to think of this show, ladies and gentlemen, as a family show. And so now you're about to meet the father and son of BBC Television's most famous family, Harry H. Corbett and Wilfred Bramble, alias Steptoe and Son. <laughs> for five minutes, can you? Dad, Isis, ice cream, plato. If you don't come back soon, I shall lick it. That's <laughs> no good. I shall have to put him on a lead. Time to have a deck chair. A nice little choke chain around his dirty, scraggy little neck. I wonder if he's gone into the sea. Perhaps he's drowned himself. In my horoscope this morning did say, a great surprise in store for you today. <laughs> oh well, if he's not back by tomorrow morning, I shall inform the lifeguard. <laughs> oh my god! He sees that there and I've got cramp, I can't move. Graham? I wonder what time the tide comes in here. <laughs> Give your hand up, you heartless great pillock. Hold this then. Hercules Unchained! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look revolting. Go and get your overcoat on, you look like a plate full of spare ribs. Go on. <laughs> I didn't come all the way up to Blackpool to get me overcoat on. Want to get into the old current fun? Get a can. Uh, a couple of days of this, I'll be as fit as Cassius Clay. You're joking. His left leg weighs more than you do. <laughs> and you're going to strip off? No, thank you. Ah. Uh, Go on. Take your clothes off. I'd rather not. Yeah, you're scared. What do you mean, scared? What I say, scared. Because you've got a big fat gut. I've not. I've not got a big fat gut. Yes, you have. You've got a great big fat gut. No, I've not. I'll take your shirt off then. I don't want to take my shirt off. Well, there you are then. What do you mean, there you are then? That proves it. You got a great big fat white gut. <laughs> Slug white. Yeah, you have to condition you ought to be ashamed of yourself, a boy at your age. Yeah. Flat as a pancake, all muscle, that is. Dad, please sit down. There's women over there and that costume's full of owls. Well, <laughs> don't turn round. Please, Dad, look, you could have bought yourself a new one. You can afford it. You didn't have to get it out of the sack. I can't see nothing they ain't seen before. Not yours, they haven't. Enough to clear the beach, that is. Now sit down, eat your ice cream. I want to go paddling. Paddling? Yeah. In your bare feet? Yeah. Ooh. And you got no consideration for other people? I don't know about Blackpool, it'd be more like the Black Sea. You're not going paddling. There wouldn't be a fish left alive between you and the Isle of Man. What? What's the point of coming all the way to the seaside if you can't go in the water? I don't know. Let's get a bucket and spade and build sand castles. Oh, yes, let's. Sand castles. You're like a little child when you get an holiday, aren't you? Sure you wouldn't like to see the Punch and Judy show? What da 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 What da 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 or you could ride on the kiddies roundabout. You could sit upstairs on the little wooden bus. Ding, 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 ding. Or if you was to ask the man nicely, he might let you drive the little steamroller. I shall shove that ice cream cornet right up your nose in a minute. You never stopped moaning ever since we left London. I think I've got every right to moan, coming all the way up here by horse and cart. <laughs> I wasn't going to pay the fares they was asking. This way we've got more money to spend on our holiday. Holiday? What holiday? A fortnight off, five days to get up here, five days to get back again. It's ridiculous. Do you realise that on Thursday there was a 31-mile traffic jam behind us? 
I told you to pull out of the fast lane, but no, nah, you wouldn't have it. <laughs> I got a license. I can travel on the Queen's Highway when and where I like. Not on the M1, you can't. <laughs> Look, when a fella pays £5,000 for an Aston Martin, he expects to be able to do more than two miles an hour. Oh, you, you mean that bloke behind us? I didn't like him. He never stopped hooting all the way from St Albans to Northamptonshire. Perhaps he wanted to get past. No, they've no patience, these motorists. Oh, I pulled in just before Preston, didn't I? And what happened? He put his foot down? His engine boiled and his clutch burned out. It was my fault. Yeah. I can't stand seeing a man of that age burst into tears. He was crying because he broke his toe trying to kick the AA badge off of his car. <laughs> Do you mind? Really? You can't do anything that doesn't make a noise, make a mess, or smell. <laughs> you must be, without doubt, the most revolting man in Blackpool at this moment. <laughs> I think I'll go and get myself a peppermint lolly. Do you want one? No, thank you. Oh, God. Right. Now, now what? Now what? I got a bit of ice cream cone it stuck out under me plate. You're not taking them out of you. You're not taking them out here. What's if you want to take them out, you go in the out and do it. And you can get changed at the same time. What's that? Because we're going. We've only just got here. Have you forgotten? We are playing golf this afternoon at the Royal Livam St. Ems. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, who are we playing with anyway? Oh, a fellow spirit I met last night. He reckons to be the professional here. And I'm meeting him here today. Uh -uh. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh. My old friend, Oscar Hammertoe. How are you? How old Steptoe? Oh! May I present my father? Is this your father? What, this little diddy man? <laughs> Hello, Pop. I've got one just like you sitting in our front garden by the pond on a little concrete ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this great hairy twit, then? Don't be rude, Peter. This hairy twit is Mr. Ken Dodds, and we're going to play golf with him. They can't get changed. Yes, go and get changed. You can't go wandering around a golf course in ridiculous clothes like that. Yes. I've seen the lot now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golf. It's a wonderful game, Mr. Hamato. When you wear golf, step toe. Out there, out there in the fresh air, with only the net between us, three stumps behind us, and your club swinging in the breeze. Then it's quick dash back to the clubhouse for a quick nibblick. You can't whack it. <laughs> Will, will we be able to hire some golf clubs at the golf club house? Hire? Hire golf clubs, my dear chap. You don't want to hire golf clubs. Why? Be my guest. Look, why hire golf clubs when you can borrow mine? Now, here, here's one for you. There you are. Try that one. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit short for me. A for short? Father, oh, what are you talking about? Give us it here. What are you Have you? I thought you said you could play golf. This isn't short, you, this is how you play, see, like, four, fifteen love, fifteen love, it's your go, this is the proper way to play, all the professionals play this way, really? with the, these clubs, with the, the... <laughs> you didn't tell me Sean Connery was playing, <laughs> what's the matter with Bugs Bunny then? Say nothing. I think he's been in Blackpool too long. I'm sorry, Mr. Dodds. I'm afraid we can't play golf with you today. I suddenly realised the time. You see, today is the first day of Ramadan, and it's my father's turn to fire the cannon. But, 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 but it's ridiculous. I've arranged all the match. We've, we're, we're playing Peter Alice and Harry Wheaton at a pound a hole. Look, I've got the clubs already. Here, Pop, you take that one, and, and, and you can have this one. That was one of Henry Cotton's. And I'll have this one, and... and a, what a magnificent team we make. I guarantee we don't lose more than a hundred pounds between us. Uh, Peter, haven't you left something in the hut? No, I don't oh, yes, so. you have. Le left well, if he's left it, no. I insist. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me go in that box. I won't play the game unless I go in that box. I now declare this council flat truly open. <laughs> now then. Come get the awesome cart off the meter. We're going, mate. Listen. 
can't find it. Where is it? Where did you say you left it? Upstairs, in the bathroom. Upstairs? In the bathroom? Okay. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Young Harold. Thank you very much.